friends, what's up? How's it going? I am on my way out to a motorcycle meetup, Moto Social, downtown Austin. It's going to take me about an hour to get there, but um, we're going to talk about uh, Quick Shift Assist Pro, BMW's Quick Shifter. couple of friends of mine that have BMWs we're all talking about it specifically the the uh, quick shifter for the boxer engine which is what is on my bike uh, it's also on the RT the R9T and what else have we got oh, no, R18 the big one excuse me burped terrible uh, but it's an awesome engine Especially with the, the newer model on my bike, the 1250 with the shift cam. It's loads of torque, awesome motor. But most people have complaints about the quick shifter and how it's not smooth, it's really clunky. Um, so we're going to talk all about that today. So stay tuned. Okay, and this is from the owner's manual. I just highlighted a couple of things. <clears throat> when riding at a steady speed in a low gear at high engine RPM, an attempt to shift gear without pulling the clutch can cause a severe load change reaction. I guess that's a nice way of saying an extreme jolt. <laughs> I don't know. Then down here, shift assist is not available in the following situations. With the clutch uh, lever pulled, so if you're using the clutch, you, I mean you're just shifting normally if you're using the clutch. Shift lever not in its initial position, so the shift lever is not in the correct position. You've got it neutral or some other thing. Up, up shifts with the throttle valve closed, so if you are going along, you let the throttle off and you go to up shift, it, it, won't, uh, it won't up shift. And when shifting down with the throttle valve open or when accelerating, so if you're coming you know, to a turn and you start to accelerate, to the turn for some reason, and then you want to downshift without the clutch, it won't work. You have to have the throttle off um, or rolled off completely to downshift. Again, just to reiterate that from the um, owner's manual here, it says it again, it is not necessary to close the throttle valve when shifting under acceleration. When braking and downshifting, throttle valve closed. Engine speed is adjusted by blipping the throttle. Well, we're at the stoplight here. Um, so, quick shifter. What, what do you use a quick shifter for anyway? So, uh, in my mind, there's a couple reasons. One, the word quick has a lot to do with it. So, it's it's uh, faster. Should be faster than pulling in the clutch, letting the throttle down, hitting the gear shifter up into second gear, third gear, whatever giving it some juice, letting the clutch back out. So it's supposed to be faster, but why do you, why do you really need it to be faster? I think the only reason would be that you're, you're racing, you're going fast, you're getting on the throttle, you want to bang through gears as fast as possible, got the RPMs way up high, and that's where this Boxer engine's quick shifter operates at its best, when you're on the throttle, you're really getting on it, getting up to the 7,000, RPMs or more. This red line's at nine, so you're getting closer up to the red line when you hit the gears. It's much smoother and faster and to use it. When you're just going through the gears, through the streets, stop and go traffic, and you're not going above 4,000 RPMs or so to switch, you're gonna definitely get real clunky shift exchanges in the lower gears for sure, especially first to second, second to third. After that, fourth, fifth, sixth, pretty smooth up and down, um, no issues. Um, so, that is what most people will tell you if you read, read any threads or people ask, you know, but what, why is that? Why is the boxer engine so unsmooth or clunky? For example, um, I rode the K1600, the um, BMW touring bike, and that's an inline six cylinder engine very big motor smooth as silk any gear any throttle position doesn't matter it just goes up goes down as you like it 
and it is just so why is Siri just jumped into our conversation here didn't ask for you um, anyways uh, that one I, I test rode and it is just so smooth you can't feel anything the motor is smooth I didn't even know the bike was started um, this one the opposing twin boxer engine when you start it you know it started it has a little kick to the left uh, on, on this engine just slightly on the R18 the big uh, cruiser that has a very big pull to the left I mean it's very noticeable uh, but and this is the boxer engines are also uh, shaft driven so they're direct direct power through um, flywheels and whatnot so there's no chain so the question again is why you know why is the boxer engine clunky and I've asked some different friends different people that have been riding for many years and I decided to ask chat GPT and I read the response and I thought wow that's interesting and so let me read that to you now there are several reasons why the BMW Boxer motorcycle engine transmission may feel clunky or less smooth compared to an inline four-cylinder motorcycle transmission. Number one, design differences. The BMW Boxer engine has a unique design with a horizontally opposed twin-cylinder layout, whereas an inline four engine has four cylinders in a row. This difference in engine design can result in different transmission layouts and gearing, which can affect the smoothness of gear shifts. Number two, shaft drive. Many BMW Boxer motorcycles use shaft drive instead of a chain drive, which can tr contribute to a clunkier feeling when shifting gears. The shaft drive transfers power from the engine to the rear wheel using a set of gears and the engagement of these gears can be felt in the transmission. Number three, heavy flywheel. The BMW Boxer engine typically has a heavy flywheel, which can make it more difficult to shift gears smoothly. The inertia of the flywheel can cause the engine to res resist changing RPMs quickly, which can make shifts feel clunkier. Number four, longitudinal engine mounting. The longitudinal mounting of the engine on BMW Boxer motorcycles can also affect the smoothness of the transmission. Because the engine is mounted longitudinally, the transmission output shaft is oriented in the same direction as the bike's movement. This can create a jolting feeling during gear shifts, especially at low speeds. Overall, these factors can contribute to a less smooth transmission feel on BMW boxer motorcycles compared to inline four cylinder motorcycles. However, it's worth noting that some riders may actually prefer the unique feel of the BMW boxer engine and transmission. Kind of interesting, right? So let's do some real world stuff here. Instead of just talking about it, let's do it. So I'm gonna use the quick shifter from, from first to second, say so all the way up uh, here in this traffic, I'm not probably going to go much higher than four or four thousand rpms. Um, it should should by third or fourth gear get a little smoother, but we'll see. Here we go. Okay, let's go, people. Okay, here we go. Okay, no clutch. Okay, that was <laughs> that gave me whiplash. Okay, we've got another red light here, so we're gonna have to pause our our experiment. But yeah, first the second I hit, I was about three and a half thousand RPMs on that. Uh, but like I said, the K1600, and I know um, the other metric bikes like you know Japanese, the Kawasaki Gemma's, all that. A lot of people say those are real smooth too. They're a little, most of those are inline fours. The BMW inline six, smooth as butter. Doesn't matter what RPM you're doing. Okay, here we go. Let's do this experiment again. All right, I'm going to do second gear without the clutch. Okay, so I just used the clutch to second, and now I'm going to do third. Okay, that was a little bit jerky. Okay, we're going to come up on fourth. Okay, here we go, 4,000 RPMs. 
there we go. Hey, that was pretty smooth. There's a little, you know, a little feedback on the foot and a little bit of a push, but smooth. So we're going fourth to fifth. Let's hit 4,000 RPMs again. There we go. Yeah, again, just a tiny little bit of feedback. I'm oh, sorry, my helmet was open. A little bit of feedback on the um, shifter in the bike, but very, very slight. And um, I can't. Let's see where we were in fifth gear. Doing 3,000 RPMs, so I'm gonna hit sixth gear. See, nothing. I didn't feel anything. I'm in sixth gear right now. So, four, five, six, pretty smooth. Even at the lower, you know, 3,000, 4,000 revs. And the trick on downshifting, this has auto blipper, so you don't need to blip the throttle or anything like that. So, when you downshift, Boom, you gotta let the you gotta completely let the throttle go and shut down the throttle. Okay, here we go. Um, these roads here, this is old local neighborhood, I don't wanna go jamming through here hitting seven thousand RPM, so I'll find a there's another big road up up the ways here we'll we'll continue the experiment. So I'll see you in a bit. <clears throat> Alright, so today I'm going to finish up the discussion of the quick shifter because the um, I ran out of battery. <clears throat> Remember when I was doing the other one, it just died on me and I didn't know it until I got home and looked at the footage. So <clears throat> I'm going to go through the gears, getting on the throttle a little bit more. And show you how the, the quick shifter smooths out a little bit if you let the if you let the revs go up. Should I change my mind? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go south on French Road. First to second, second to third. Not not much jolting around at all because I got the RPMs up quite high. Once you pass third, fourth, fifth, and sixth are smooth, even if you're going kind of slow or shifting on a you know shifting around three and a half or four thousand revs. Like right now, I'm around four thousand, fourth to fifth. I didn't you don't I didn't even feel it. So that's pretty cool. But that's the quick shifter, you know, you, on this bike, you have to really get on the throttle to smooth it out. <clears throat> um, and I hope you could hear the engine on the microphone. Because I, I, you know, unfortunately, I didn't look down at the, at the RPMs, what I was hitting the gears at, but it was, it was nice, smooth. But you do, do have to get on the throttle. The police busted this guy because he's he absconded with a grocery store cart. He either doesn't have a car and he's got to get home, or he's unfortunately without a home or something. All right, well that's it from this end. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Later.